These pots are made out of up to an inch and a half solid steel bars. They're very durable, very strong. The average pot weighs about 750 pounds, and that includes the web and the bars. You also have another 50 pounds of line and buoys that are in the pot, so when they're stacked on deck, these pots weigh upwards of 800 pounds per pot. They're unyielding, so a man can get very seriously injured. So we're well trained in how to handle these pots, and uh, they're capable of taking the pounding and the banging across the decks, in addition to slamming up against the side of the boats as we retrieve them. Pots are set up differently for each crab species. These pots here are configured for a king crab configuration. This opening here is nine inches by 36 inch opening. And this is the standard size for a king crab. Every entrance is modified to the various species of the type of crab you're trying to catch. We have a conversion to catch the snow crabs. And if you look here, we have a hood that goes over the top of the tunnel that restricts it from a nine inch opening down to a three inch opening. The king crab can't squeeze through it, but the snow crab can, and we have various mesh sizes depending on the species we're trying to target. We have a little panel that drops in behind the large mesh. This restricts right here the apelio crab from crawling out of the large mesh. If a pot is lost at sea, a special panel sewn into the mesh allows the pot to permanently open. What they call a cotton bio escapement panel. It's not too often that we lose a pot, but if it's, you know, occasionally it does happen. This cotton will rot away and it will open up and create a hole so that the crabs can crawl back out. We need these cotton escapements in our pots in the event that uh, we do lose any gear to whether vessels run over the buoy bags, we snap a line, or uh, Mother Nature floats them away with the icebergs. The average king crab pot uses approximately 66 fathoms of line, which is a total of 198 feet. When we get into the Capelio fisheries, we'll use approximately 294 feet of line, all the way up to 392 feet of line. Buoy bags are numbered to identify the boats they belong to. And every crab pot is also numbered. Every pot has to be registered and every pot has a unique number issued by the Alaska Department of Fish and Game, which registers the pot and makes sure that we have the correct amount of gear and we're not overfishing. If this tag is not on the buoy bag, the pot can be seized by the Alaska Department of Fish and Game as an illegal pot. 